We'll come to derivatives applied part three. All right, here's our problem. The voltage across applied across a capacitor of 0 0.2 microfarads was V equals five minus three T squared volts. The energy stored in a capacitor is W equals C times V squared over two and the unit is joules. Find the formula for dw dt in the capacitor. So we've got the formula for w equals c v squared over two. And we want to find dw dt. So we need to get the, the left side of the equation is fine. The w is great. Um, the other side of the question doesn't have the variable t. We need to get the t in that, in that side of the equation so that we can do dw dt. So we're going to substitute out the V for the 5 minus 3T squared. That gives us the second bullet there. Now we're going to add a uh, substitute out the C for the capacitance that was given, the 0 0.2 microfarads. Now we can divide that 2 into the uh, 0.2 microfarads and get rid of the fraction we st we're still we've still got we're solving for w the equation is still in terms of w and now you can see we've got um, the equation in terms of w and t so now we can do the derivative dw dt and that's that uh, next bullet line there dw dt and now all the rest of it is just the algebra. We're cleaning up the DWDT for our final DWDT of 3.6 times 10 to the minus 6 T to the third power minus 6 times 10 to the negative 6 T. All right, the frequency of a certain crystal oscillator varies with temperature T according to F equals FA times the quantity one minus K times the quantity T minus TA, um, where FA is the frequency at an initial temperature TA and K is a constant of the crystal. If T equals 55 plus 0 0.01 T squared, how fast does F change when T equals 10? Okay, so there's a lot of variables in this question. We just need to kind of figure out what's going on. So we've got our original F question or F formula, and we've got a T equals formula. And the question is saying, how fast does F change when T equals 10? So how fast is going to be DF DT? So that's a rate when T is at 10. So if we take our original formula and we put in our T into that formula, now we can simplify the F formula and distribute everything through. So, and this actually ends up being not that difficult because only one of those terms has a little t time in it. So this one's confusing because there's T temperature, capital T temperature, and little t time. And we want to find DF DT, and the DT is time. So now we can take the DF DT, and you see that it's just that middle term that we're going to take the derivative of. The other ones don't have T time in it, so they just go away. So then we've got the derivative in terms of time. And now we want to basically find the Y prime or the F prime of that when it's equal to time is equal to 10. So we substitute in 10 for time and we end up with a final answer of 0 0.2 K F A. Write the wavelength in meters of a radio wave traveling at the speed of light three times 10 to the eighth meters per second varies with the frequency according to, I think that's lambda or the wavelength uh, equal to the speed of light divided by frequency. 
if the frequency equals 1 times 10 to the 8th plus 5 times 10 to the 7th t square t raised to the half power hertz find a formula for uh, the derivative of the wavelength divided by uh, dt d lambda dt okay so what do we know we know uh, lambda is equal to the speed of light divided by frequency we've got a uh, constant for the speed of light and we've got a frequency in terms of time and we want to know what the um, d wavelength dt is equal to so we need to get again just like the other ones we need to get things in terms of time so we're going to rewrite the first equation we're going to substitute out the frequency um, formula or substitute in the time so we get lambda is equal to the speed of light divided by 1 times 10 to the 8th plus 5 times 10 to the 7th t to the half power the next thing to do that kind of makes things a little bit easier is just to move that whole quantity up and raise it to the negative one power and then go ahead and take the derivative now you're ready to take the derivative uh, d lambda dt now we can we take the derivative in terms of c is fine because c is a constant it's speed of light and then we can put the speed of light back in the three times 10 to the eighth and then we get the math we get our final answer of d lambda dt is equal to minus 7.5 times 10 to the 15 divided by 1 times 10 to the 8th plus 5 times 10 to the 7th t to the half all that quantity squared times another t to the half power